Hi everyone, welcome back to the antenna. My name is Anna and today we're going to take a look at this cute beginner Japanese brand fountain pens. Um, it's called Platinum Meteor and sometimes also known as Small Shooting Star. They're really cute and comes in many different characters and colors. So they're really nice, fun looking, you know, fountain pens for beginners. They're excellent though, you know, for a beginner fountain pen i would say the quality is great so first of all let's take a look at the packaging so the packaging is really cute um it comes in this what looks like a test tube um, plastic bottle and the material of the pen itself is made up of plastic so they are really you know lightweight pens um i think this is specifically marketed for the younger generation you know younger people and also for the young at heart you know if you like you know cute little things then maybe you would enjoy this um so very lightweight um the cap is snap on and you hear that satisfying snap there it also posed um securely so if you know you have bigger hands you probably would want to write with the cap posted but i, I don't mind writing with it you know unposted it really does not bother me at all so the shape of this pen is octagon and i like the fact that you know when you place it on the table because of the shape it prevents it from falling off the table so that's also another good thing for um, platinum pens so the regular one is not anything special or fancy at all so it has that platinum um, logo in there and um this one um, is translucent. This is their Sanrio collection. And I specifically pick up Hello Kitty because I like Hello Kitty. So the barrel itself is, again, made up of plastic. Nothing really fancy. But one thing I like about this pen is that both of them comes uh, with its own little converter. Platinum converter. So it is actually a uh, plunge type. As you can see over here, um, this portion is the one that you slide in here. So um, you slide it um, down and up. So that way you can draw the ink from your ink bottle. And over here on the other side, you have that platinum um, logo in there. Now the converter itself has its own little um, agitator ball. So if you wanted to shake up your uh ink you know shake up the ink inside it and, and that also helps so that's a win that's a good thing you don't need to pay extra for that it also has um ink cartridge so if you want an ink cartridge you can do that as well oh, you can use that as well but um i had it here and i'm just keeping it as a spare now the nib itself is made up of metal so as you can see what did i say did i say metal yeah it's made up of steel i should say and um yeah it's made up of steel it's stainless steel and as you can see the nib is very cute it has that um star you know engraving it's very cute it also has that uh, platinum logo and i think the meteor pens only come in fine nibs and you know how japanese nibs are when you say fine that nib would write more of you know like an extra fine um, so that's another good thing that I like about this pen is that even though it writes fine or extra fine, I would say, the nib is not scratchy at all. So it writes smoothly. Sometimes the smoothness of the writing also has something to do with um, the kind of ink you have on your pen. Because some inks are more lubricated than others. Some inks are... You know drier or some inks are wetter than others so that also uh, plays a role or a factor you know in your overall writing experience but so far um, I have a pleasant writing experience with the platinum um, meteor you know just it, it's fun just look it makes me happy because I see this different colors and it's just nice so anyway um so let me show you how this um ink or should i say pen writes so even though this is fine it writes very um smoothly and the ink does not dry up 
because of that, you know, sleep and seal technology that it has. So it has that spring loading mechanism in there. So what happens is that if you cap it on, it basically creates an airtight fit and it prevents the ink from drying up or evaporating. So that way, you know, it does not clog up, it does not dry up. So that's another good thing about the pen. I, I like that, you know, sleep and seal um, technology. So let me just show you how this pen writes. I'm going to write um, platinum. So I am just using a regular paper. I'm gonna write the name. So this is platinum meteor. Okay, and this is in fine nib. And the ink that I'm using here is Sailor Manual Nekoyanagi. All right, which is a very nice, you know, what looks like a lavender color so that's how it writes so as you can see even though the nib is you know very fine it writes very smoothly and not scratchy at all so um the other one i'm going to show you how this one writes as well so this one is platinum as well platinum meteor and this is in fine nib the ink that I'm using here is Vinta Lucia. So as you can see, okay, even though these are both fine, you know, they write really nice and they write really smoothly. And just very nice, you know, writing experience. Um, it does not feel dry at all. Because sometimes if you have like finer nibs, sometimes the ink really feels dry and you feel like you know there's a drag like like you're dragging the 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 nib across the paper or something like that but this one is not um scratchy at all again it all depends on the kind of ink you use so oh, maybe maybe sailor inks are you know nicer quality inks and they do you know vinta inks is the same way so if you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you have not already. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to drop your comments and suggestions in the, in the comment section below. And if there are other pens that you want me to review, just let me know. And I'll see you again next time. Have a good day. Bye.